Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you all so much for your likes, shares, comments and subscribes. I appreciate you guys. If any of you would like to book a personal, purchase anything or make a donation to the channel, all info is um, on how all info on how to do so, sorry, is in the description box below. Um, please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa, okay? So feel free to take what resonates, switch the gender, switch the roles, do what you've got to do and leave the rest. So disclaimer, if anybody is um, offended by my natural beauty, whether you think it's natural, ugly or whatever, I don't really care, just click off because I don't support insanity. I don't understand insanity. Um, the brain is something I have been studying for years, but even though I understand, I still don't understand, you know? Um, I feel like people who are envious, I just feel like it's an illogical emotion that someone has when they hate and they love you at the same time. And I don't really support that energy. And that energy has been following me from my other channel where I was cyber bullied, stalked, harassed, shadow banned. I've tried to move on onto this channel with fresh energy and I feel like it's starting to happen again. And I kind of want people to heal. I tried to ask people, but why me? Why are you choosing to be mean when you can choose to? And they can never really answer the question because people don't really understand themselves. And I kind of feel like I want people to get help because I feel like spreading envy and hatred is a disease and it's um, it's not beneficial for yourself, nor is it beneficial for the planet. You know, I look at everything as frequencies and vibrations. And um, this is the problem in the world is that people have an insatiable desire to spread hatred. And it's just, why i don't get it so i you know i just want to say if you're someone that you're offended by anything about me you really i really want you to sit down and ask yourself why am i on her channel why am i watching this video why if i don't like her if i don't like what she's saying if i don't like the way that she looks why am i giving her my time attention and energy why am i allowing her to live rent free in my mind why why am i offended by someone i don't know on the internet Hmm, what is wrong with me? Ask yourself, face those inner demons. Um, I'm not going to apologize for being an ancient Venusian goddess. Most people like to claim that they're goddesses. They like to claim that they're Venusian. You're not considered a Venusian unless you have three or more planets in Venus in your chart. I have five. I have four and one asteroid. Sun, Moon, Mercury, Mars. I have Pallas in Venus and um, um, Libra, Venus. I also have Venus, like in my seven, in my eleventh house, fourth house. I've got Pluto in Libra in my other chart. I am a proper Venusian. I'm the most Libran person I know. If there is any other beautiful Venusians out there that has got as many Venus placements as me, I would love to know because I feel like we need to stick together. But there's not many of us. OK, um, and I just feel like um, and obviously I have Pisces in my ninth house. You should know what that means. Pisces is the ancient out of the entire zodiac and our ninth house is our higher mind. So I literally have the mind of an ancient person. And if people are offended by my femininity, because I see to me, this is femininity, the ancient Egyptians had a choice whether or not they wanted to have their breasts out or not. So if people are offended by this, if they think that this is thotty or slutty or whatever, then that's how you feel about the ancient Egyptian goddesses because that's how they walked around. And they weren't objectified or sexualized by their men. Um, back in those days, they saw the feminine physique as sacred and there are still tribes to this day that walk around with that representation. But I study everything. I'm a very spiritual person. And one thing I've learned on my spiritual journey in all the years I've been reading is that a lot of people who claim to be on the spiritual journey, they are not. There's a lot of people that work with different goddesses, whether it's Oshun, Aphrodite, Hava, all the goddesses of beauty. But when they are presented with a goddess, 
that represents beauty. They are hateful. They discriminate. They put down and they belittle. And that is a disrespect to the deity in which you're channeling. Because when you're channeling a deity, that deity comes through other people to present itself to you. Just like how demonic deities and entities go into different people and present themselves to you, so does the essence of beauty. So when you are in the presence of beauty or um, somebody who's very Venusian, Venusians are going to be very sexy. They're going to be voluptuous. They're going to represent femininity in all its beautiful, greatest forms. You are disrespecting a goddess. If, you, if, if Oshun presented herself to you in real life, are you going to be mean to her? Are you going to disrespect her? Are you going to call her out of her name? No, you wouldn't. So why do people do it to each other? Because people are not spiritual. And if they are, they're on the lower frequency. These are people that will watch and support those music videos with those whores shaking their ass every five minutes and allowing their mind to be fed and programmed with lust. And then so that's all they see because they don't have the discipline to look away from certain things. Whenever I listen to music, I don't watch music videos. The only music video I can really watch is like Missy Elliott because her videos are actually like dance and choreography. Like it's actually, you know what I mean? I can't watch videos with women just shaking their ass and their tits because I don't want to be programmed to think like that. And I don't want to start to look at myself in a vulgar way. I want to embrace my femininity. I've spent years being ashamed of my breasts. I used to, um, and my hips, my bum, everything. No, actually, I always used to love my bum, but my boobs. Because obviously, you know, your boobs is like the first thing I guess people see when they like look at you in the front ways. And, um, you know, I was always sexualized as a child or because I developed really early. So I used to cover up. I'm a grown ass woman. I'm going to be 33. I'm not a child. I don't need to be told how to dress or how to present myself as a Venusian goddess who's tapped into real deities. Hence why I'm so fucking psychic. I don't envy beauty. I celebrate it because who would I be? to disrespect a beautiful queen when I have a, a, a shrine, an altar dedicated to the goddess of beauty and Venus, Venusian energy. I work with Yamaya, Yamaya, Yamoja on Saturdays. I work with Oshun on Fridays. I can't show love to Venus and then show hate to women that represent that energy. That doesn't make any logical sense, which is why I feel like the majority of the population is insane or has some deep rooted psychological issues. I feel like people are really disrespectful. I feel like people are really envious within themselves. This is why when I talk about natural beauty, so many women get offended. When really, I just want to empower you and tell you that you are beautiful just the way that you are. You are insecure. That's why you pay for tits. You pay for your ass. You pay for your hair. Don't come at me about braids and extensions because it's not the same thing. I'm not wearing someone else's antennas on my head. Putting human hair on your head that doesn't belong to you is a form of insanity. This is why a lot of women think backwards. I don't support lace wigs. Even yesterday, I was in someone's chat who was wearing a wig and I was trying to look past it because what she was saying was on point and I was guided to that reading for a reason. But normally I can't watch any reader that has a lace wig because I can't support, because um, I, like I said, I'm very spiritual. I can't support the antennas of the, of the people that enslaved my ancestors on the people that look like me's head. I can't support that because that is the main reason as to why a lot of women are envious because they are um, absorbing that energy within them and mixing it with their astrological DNA. And they're presenting self-hate to each other. But then if they see a white woman walking around with braids, they'll get angry about it. Again, that's illogical. You're upset because a white woman is trying to look black, but you're wearing her hair. You're putting green and blue contacts in your eyes. You're contouring your nose to make it straighter. People want to talk about black queens and want to honor black goddesses. Black African Orishas, they're African. They look African. They have African textured hair. So don't be claiming Oshun, don't be claiming Harvard, don't be claiming um, Nefertiti, don't be claiming all of these deities, all of these goddesses, all of these queens, when you yourself can't embrace what they would have looked like back in the day. 
And don't be mad at me because I'm a true representation of what the fuck I speak about. Because most people are hypocrites and they're upset with me because I'm not a hypocrite. They're upset with me because I'm trying to help people to raise their vibration. If I'm saying not to smoke, not to drink and not to fuck because I'm practicing that myself, people are upset about that because they give in to their own temptations because they can't say to themselves, you know what, I do suffer from a bit of lust addiction. I am a bit disrespectful to women or I do kind of hate on women. Why is that? Maybe I need to stop doing this. Maybe I need to stop doing that. Maybe I need to be stop, stop being triggered by what someone is saying that's trying to help me so I can be as powered and as confident as they are. I'm a beautiful person on the inside. I don't have a hateful bone in my body. I don't hate. I don't discriminate. I've gone through a lot. I've been a mother, a father, a vet, a carer, a nurse for the past how many years looking after people, looking after my family. And all I do is get scrutinized and bullied. Whenever I've been vulnerable with my audience, nobody sends me prayers. Nobody reaches out to me to ask me if, I, if I'm okay. But people reach out to me if they want to try to fuck me or if they want to compete with me in some type of way, if they want to befriend me, to snake me in the end. I'm not about that life. Okay? I'm not here for you to... Um, pour your emotional baggage onto me and project onto me because you have deep-rooted insecurities within yourself. It's not my fault that when you look in the mirror, you don't like yourself. It's not my fault. That's what the evil um, white people done. They made you hate your skin. They brought in colorism and texturism. They made you hate each other. That wasn't me. That's why I, I don't feel comfortable within this world and I know that I'm not supposed to be here and I'm definitely not reincarnated on earth. Because I look at people um, as beautiful. The darker you are, the closer you are to the divine. People don't even know what melanin means. They don't know that the darkest woman is the blueprint. They don't understand that. People don't understand about their roots and their cultures. People don't understand that. They're, they're upset because I'm knowledgeable. I'm not an idiot. But I'm sexy. I mean, at least people think I'm sexy. I wouldn't even say I'm sexy. I don't even know. You know, I remember it was my ex that told me, like, they were like, you don't realize how fine you are. Because I really don't. I used to get really confused why people would attack me or why people would say things to me. I've tried to be supportive and I will get to the reading, but I have a lot that I need to say. I've tried to be supportive to people. Um, and thank you to those who genuinely do support me. I really appreciate you. I really do. Because real recognises real. Because it's always the fake people that hide behind accounts and shit that want to say something to you. But thank you to those who genuinely support me. I've reached out to readers. I've been friends with some of the biggest readers that everybody fucking knows. And they've snaked me. They've been like, the only you should be more sensual. You know, wearing little bralettes and halter neck tops. But then if I do the same thing and I'm more clothed, then I get sneaked this in a reading about all these readers with their tits out. But you got your tits out too. It's just that your tits are smaller than mine. So why is it okay for you to do it, but it's not okay for me to do it when you encourage me to do it? So you encourage me to do it so you can sneak this me about it. It's jealousy because your boobs are small and mine's not. I don't understand how bitches can be on their channel wearing, like I said, halter nets, little bralette tops, them Calvin Klein shit. I, and you know what? My confession is I used to be jealous of girls who used to have small boobs because they could wear anything without people saying anything. I went to fashion college and uni, you know, and they teach you about the body and how to dress for the body. And even though hourglass is like seen as the perfect silhouette, which is what I am because you have to, your boobs and your hips basically, you know, and your waist is like this. That's what an hourglass is. If anyone has actually seen an hourglass thing, it just means that when your, your shoulders and your hips are at the same length, I mean the same width, sorry, and then your waist is smaller. Some people, their, their hips are bigger and they're smaller at the top. Other people, they're bigger at the top and they go in at the bottom. But everything is about trying to make you look like that perfect hourglass shape. But all shapes and sizes, in my opinion, are beautiful. If you wasn't given a fat ass, you wasn't given a fat ass. If you wasn't given fat tits, you wasn't given fat tits. It wasn't your destiny to have those attributes. 
unless you go to the gym and you build muscle in certain type of places. Because really people do all of that shit to compete with each other and to impress each other. And to hate on each other. I don't really understand that mentality, if, if I'm honest with you. I'm an artist. I see bodies and, you know, the way that people look as beauty. I research everything. I used to hate my fucking dots on my face and then I researched them and I was like, wow. I don't look, I look at things in a very astrological way. I, that, that Aquarius energy in my seventh house, how I relate to people is through an astrological way. But most people, they don't. They don't look at people like that. I'm looking at you and I'm wondering, I wonder what that means. Or, oh, you've got this here, da da da. Oh, wow, you've got that. Or I look at people's aura and their energy. I can tell what type of person they are by their energy. If you've got insecurities and I trigger them, this is not the channel for you, darling, because I'm not here to, I'm here to speak the truth. And I always say the truth doesn't give a fuck about your feelings. I'm not here to um, appease you. I'm not here to sprinkle and sugarcoat shit because you're not a donut. And I'm also not here to be attacked on my platform. And I don't feel like anybody should be attacked. If you've got some shit to say and you don't like some shit, make your own channel and talk about it. Period. But I'm tired of being attacked by people. I'm tired of making friends with people and then they're sneak dissing me or they're being rude to me because really you're jealous. That's all it is. I'm tired of certain people thinking they can do things, but then if other people do it, they're penalized for it. And really, all the, the reason why people are penalizing you and they're coming at you is because of how you look. It's like beauty is something that everybody wants, but it's something that everybody um, abuses, everybody's mean to. And it doesn't make any logical sense to me. And this is why a lot of people are going through karma right now. A lot of tragedies are happening in people's lives because they just keep disrespecting beauty. And beauty is everywhere. Beauty is in nature. People are um, applauding an artificial culture. People are creating themselves and making themselves artificial. They're coming away from their roots. They're coming away from their realness. And they're rejecting or they're projecting onto those who are trying to raise the vibration and bring the realness back. I keep telling people not to fuck with me because of my karmic energy. But you want to continue, so carry on. But I'm just going to say this. Before you think about saying something negative, ask yourself why. And ask yourself if you feel like you need to be assessed mentally. Because to me, like I said, it is a mental disorder for people to be on people's channels and in their comment sections continuously giving themselves attention to something that is triggering them. That doesn't make any logical sense. Heal yourself. Let's get into the reading. So this is for the beautiful collective. Soul forgiveness. Wow. So for some of you, I feel like you may need to look deep within your side yourself and ask yourself for forgiveness. There could be somebody around you that you want forgiveness from. Because I feel like some of you have been abusing yourself or abusing others. Or this could be somebody around you. I feel like somebody is doing some deep soul searching and they really want forgiveness for how they've been behaving. I'm hearing I was trying to speak to your soul, but your ego misinterpreted me. So I feel like a lot of people are operating from their ego. And they want forgiveness. Somebody wants your forgiveness. You want somebody's forgiveness. Or you are being forgiven. Yeah, masks. We spoke about that. People hiding behind masks. People being afraid to live their authentic truth to be who they truly are. Somebody wants forgiveness for that. Yeah, grounding. Someone needs to ground and center themselves. This could be you grounding and centering yourself as well. Trying to connect with your roots. Trying to center your mind, trying to figure some shit out. This could also be somebody wanting to kind of stabilize a situation with you and you really have to sit back and think to yourself, okay, do I really want to forgive this person? And then we have pleasure. I'm hearing something about pleasure seekers. 
So yeah, I'm getting some kind of lustful energy. I feel like somebody wants forgiveness for, for, for operating like this. I'm also getting that you are getting everything that you desire with all those stars there. I also just heard that something is pleasing to the eye. And then we have worthiness. Yeah, you are worthy. You are a queen. You are a king. And you will be recognized as such. You also forgive yourself for not seeing your worth and not seeing your value. Because you not seeing your worth and you're not seeing your value um, disempowers you and dis dis enables you sorry, to recognize it in others. But you are worthy. Somebody here could have children as well. But look how beautiful that woman is in her natural glory. Look at how beautiful. Somebody here is really beautiful. They got really beautiful with brown skin. Gorgeous energy. Yeah, but worthiness, you are worthy. Okay? I feel like you've been given the gift of beauty or of pleasure or... Maybe people pleasure, um, want to please you. I'm getting that as well. A lot of people are going to want to please you. Because I feel like you deserve it. So let's pull some affirmation. Please clarify soul forgiveness. I am of royal descent. We spoke about that earlier. I feel like some people, they want forgiveness from their ancestors for being disrespectful, for being disrespectful to other queens, other kings, for being disrespectful to this energy trying to um, enter other people to converse with them. Like, you know, for example, like say you're asking for a sign from like an angel or a spirit guide and um, that entity will enter that person to talk to you and then you're disrespectful. I see somebody sitting down and praying to some type of royal deity asking for forgiveness. This could be you. Also, maybe you're recognizing that somebody is of royalty and that you need to treat them with respect. With the worthiness here. Or this is you, somebody coming and literally bowing down to you and asking for your forgiveness. Okay, please clarify our grounding. I am expressive. Yeah, somebody has something that they want to say. Now, for some of you, you could be using some form of expression to exercise your talents and your gifts, which is helping you to stay grounded. You could be building something, like literally constructing something with your hands. I'm seeing somebody like putting something together here. Okay, I'm also seeing someone like following some type of instructions. I'm seeing like screws. I just heard Allen key. Okay, please clarify pleasure. I am a queen, exactly. You are a queen queen or a king watching this and you will get whatever the fuck you want to get because you are deserving of this. So people want to please you and rightly so. So yeah, we've got a lot of royal energy here. So beautiful. I'm also hearing like queens recognize queens, kings recognize kings. So I feel like you're going to be um, connected more with people that are on your level and on your frequency. Yeah, and I am talented. Beautiful energy. I feel like you're going to be recognized for your talent as well. People are going to be paying you for your talent. Not just talking, oh my God, you're so talented. Like, no, where's the money though? <laughs> like, you know, you keep telling me I'm talented, but I don't see the support. But I see people supporting some dumb shit. So I see somebody really investing in you. Okay, they see the royalty within your work or the royalty within you. So beautiful. This is gorgeous. This is like my friend the other day who I met. Like I paid for a reading. I didn't want, I don't really want guidance, but I just paid because I felt like I needed to pay for her time because I wanted to be her friend. So that's how I approach people. You know, I will give them something or I will pay for something. I don't just feel like I'm entitled to another God or King's energy. You know what I mean? I understand that people's energy is not, you know, that when you're of a high vibration, your energy is not easily accessible to everybody i have to show you that you know i i respect you or i appreciate you so that's what i did and we've been cool ever since you know that's what i do i show someone they're worthy i supported their talent you know 
Because I practice what the fuck I preach. It's a shame most people don't. Please clarify, I am of royal descent. The angel of innocence. Rediscover natural wonder. So this is on the role of self-forgiveness and I am of royal descent. So for some of you, I'm getting something about your inner child needs to be healed. Okay. This could be something to do with your children as well. Maybe your children want forgiveness for something or you're forgiving a child. Maybe you haven't been the best parent if you do have children and like you're seeing that your children are starting to adopt like toxic habits. But you are understanding that it's from you, from your own parenting skills. Maybe you've been focused on the wrong things, the wrong people. You're allowing your emotions to get the best of you. So you're neglecting what needs to be done when it comes to your kids or when it comes to nurturing yourself or just being nurturing to other people, man or woman watching this. I'm also getting as well, somebody's innocence is going to be like restored. Because I feel like there's like some kind of... um. It's almost like, I don't want to say like a lie, but there's, but yeah, there's like a... This energy around whoever this like queen or this king is, is somebody's trying to make someone seem like there's something that they're not. So somebody's innocence is going to be restored or somebody wants your forgiveness because I feel like somebody blamed you for something or they accused you or something and they're, they want to apologize because they realize that that wasn't the case or this is you. Yeah, we have the angel of tears. Let it go. So yeah, with the... This is clarified by I am expressive. So I feel like somebody has a lot that they want to say. I'm seeing somebody really break down. Somebody needs to release something. They need to let something go. I feel like someone has really been trying to ground themselves. But they could be bottling up how they feel. And they just need to speak on it. They just need to say something. I feel like somebody feels really ashamed here. I'm getting like shame. Please clarify the queen. I am a queen. The angel of trust. It says, keep your faith, yeah. So this is beautiful energy here. So I feel like you are trusted. People trust you. You've proven your worth. You've proven your value. This could be something to do with a position as well at work. But people trusting you. I'm also getting that somebody wants you to trust them again. I feel like with the pleasure in the I am queen, I feel like a lot of people are going to be doing, or a particular person is going to be doing the most to build back your trust, to please you. I'm hearing like, I'm sorry, I made you cry. I feel like someone made you cry or you made somebody cry. I'm also getting people are putting their trust in you with your gifts and your talents. Okay, and then we have, um yeah, the angel of reason, ground yourself. So the word grounding has come out twice. So yeah, somebody wants to reason with themselves. They could be trying to reason with their mind, thinking, why do I behave like this? Why do I act like this? Where is that coming from? Logic is essential for progress. Ask this angel to help you to remain rational. Reason avoids bias. It tries to discover what is true, whether you like the truth or not. Wishful thinking, anxiety, and intense feelings can cloud good judgment. If you feel confused or unbalanced, let the angel of reason bring you some clear-sighted guidance and illumination. Just because you think or feel something to be true does not mean it is. Step back, disconnect from your emotions and take time to reflect objectively. Consider the fact, develop a clear awareness of the reasons for your current situation and create a sensible plan. Be open to learning from and correcting any mistakes made, perhaps trying a new approach or changing your mind. If emotions are running high, try barefoot walking, also known as earthing. This ritual not only can release stress and remind you that you are part of something greater than yourself. It can also ground you and bring clarity and calm, yeah. So for some of you, you may actually need to walk in nature. If you don't live anywhere or you don't have a garden where there's nature, I'm getting like, if you have plants, put your hand in the soil, okay? Because even they say that your feet is grounding because, you know, the feet, Pisces energy, that's the subconscious mind. But also there's power within our hands. There's energy within our hands. So you can put your hands in the soil and then kind of do, like, even when I'm doing this, I can feel the heat. I can feel the energy and the power between my hands. So put your hands in the soil and then like put your hands over your mind, over your body. Okay. Right. Crazy because this was all the way over there by itself. My art giving and receiving. Yeah, balance my energy. And she was all the way over there by herself. So yeah, what you put out is what you get back. There's going to be equal give and take in a situation. Okay, so um, let's continue the reading. Judgment wanted to come out, yeah. 
judging yourself, looking at yourself, looking at the man or the woman in the mirror. Also, I'm getting that somebody really wants a second chance here because this is with the soul forgiveness. Yeah, somebody's looking up to a deity asking for forgiveness. Please, please give me a second chance with this person, with this situation. Because I feel like someone is going through harsh judgment right now. But I feel like you're going to be given, given a second chance or you may give, you may forgive someone for something. I'm getting somebody speaking out or somebody could be speaking their truth and raising people up. Okay, somebody could be a public speaker here or somebody may want to call you or call something else or somebody may want to say something to the public. They may want to ask for your forgiveness publicly. So if you are dealing with somebody in the public's eye, I see them. I see somebody literally like making a post and saying, will you forgive me and adding someone or they're mentioning it in a video or on TikTok or something. So this could be you or maybe you are confessing to the public about something. You're just getting something off your chest. If that's if it's not the public, then it's a person. Yeah. And giving somebody something here. OK, with the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe wanting to invest someone. Yeah, we have the Nine of Swords here. Could be dealing with the Gemini. Yeah, so we spoke about that with this card about grounding your mind. And this is on the card of grounded. So the nine of swords. So somebody here is very stressed out. I feel like someone is being haunted by what they did or someone is being haunted by what they said. Somebody said something that they shouldn't have said. They're being judged for it. Or maybe this is somebody who makes judgments and they're just mean as fuck. This could be a troll. This could be you. Or somebody made somebody cry here. Or somebody's in tears. I feel like somebody's really trying to ground their mind. This this is a card of mental health issues as well. Somebody who's like um, being mentally attacked. Or um, they're not in control or balance within their own mind. Like a mental health disorder. Like somebody doesn't have peace of mind, basically. They're con continuously haunted by demons or by guilt. I feel like somebody here feels incredibly guilty. It could be a number of people. It could be nine people or one person in particular. Somebody also could be really afraid to reach out to you. But I, I'm just seeing somebody riddled with guilt here. It's like somebody's like, like, oh my goodness, what have I done? I feel like somebody's begging for forgiveness. Yeah, the moon. Somebody's really feeling it, man. Because, you know, the moon represents what's hidden. So this could have been somebody that was hiding behind something. I feel like whatever they've been doing is catching up to them. I feel like somebody at night time, they can't, they have a lot of trouble sleeping. Somebody here also could be afraid of the dark. Okay, but beautiful energy on the last row. We have the Ten of Pentacles, yeah. So like I said, I feel like you're being rewarded here or people are pleasing you. This is beautiful energy. This could be a community of people. You could be getting some type of inheritance as well. I'm just getting a lot of money. I just heard a lot of praise a lot of stability some of you are very very wealthy or you're about to be very wealthy okay i'm also getting you're creating a legacy here so this is gorgeous but i'm just getting that you're being rewarded with a lot because you deserve it and yeah people are putting their trust in you so they're going to offer you something i'm getting like a thousand to ten thousand someone may make a donation of that money or somebody's gonna buy you something that's worth that much or that's what something is going to accumulate to or you're, you could be getting a raise or something. You may win the lottery or just win something. Yeah, we have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I don't know who this Gemini is. Somebody's got a lot of Gemini placements here. I'm seeing Virgo here. Possibly Scorpio, Libra, because I see Libra and Scorpio as the judgment card. But um, yeah, the Eight of Swords. I feel like somebody is stuck. I always say we are in the year of eight. Again, a card of mental health issues. Somebody's trapped in their own mind here. They can't get out. So remember what we spoke about with this card about grounding yourself. Somebody is somebody they have an illogical mind state. They can't reason with themselves. They can't seem to think, why did I do this? Or why am I doing that? Like, why? Somebody also could have been paid with the Ten of Pentacles or somebody's family. Maybe someone found out that their family was doing something against them. It was a family member or a community of people. I'm feeling like a community of people are going through judgment right now. Because I feel like somebody here is worthy and they keep picking on this person. Yeah, the storm is underneath that. Oh, yeah. Somebody's going through a lot because they keep picking on someone or they're just fucking disrespectful. Or somebody was extremely disrespectful to you. It's like somebody didn't know who you were in the spiritual realm. 
Now this person is stuck. They're going through it right now with the Eight of Swords. Somebody doesn't know what to do. Or somebody could be discovering that they have a mental health issue. I'm getting like schizophrenia, bipolar, delusional disorder. That's a thing. Um, I don't know what borderline personality disorder. Or somebody is just trapped thinking about something. Someone can't get something that you said off of their mind. Or they can't get something that they said off of your mind. Somebody also could be like going to prison here. But they're innocent because there is innocence here. But I'm getting this is more the prison of the mind. And that's the worst, that's the worst type of um prison. I I, I read that schizophrenia is the worst mental illness that you can have. But th that's the worst thing being a prison of one's mind. I just feel like somebody is riddled with guilt here. Please clarify the judgment cards. The divine feminine yeah because somebody was calling judgment on this beautiful person here somebody is venusian as fuck could be libra um taurus possibly a virgo also somebody wants a second chance somebody is talking to this deity here or talking to this person and asking for their forgiveness because like i said i feel like somebody was judging you this could have been based on your beauty or based on your essence but it's like no this is a divine feminine this is who the fuck this is Stop projecting your low vibrational energy on somebody because you can't raise yourself high enough. Because these are these energies that be judging you, but this is you. I feel like something will not be right unless the Empress forgives this person or this energy. It's like somebody was fucking with Mother Nature here, yeah. Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, yeah. Somebody has like a split personality here. Please clarify the Nine of Swords. Also, you've been judged and the judgment is that you're a beautiful empress. Like, period. We have two major arcanas there. Three, the universe. Yeah. I feel like the universe is really tormenting somebody right now. This could be somebody who's in the public's eye because this is equivalent to the wild card. But somebody can't sleep, especially at night time. I'm seeing somebody looking up to the stars and like praying. Or they're being antagonized by the powers above. Because somebody fucked with the wrong one. Or somebody could have been trying to fuck with the planet. You know, using astrology to try and get their way. Doing some type of black magic or something like that. Somebody's terrified here. Somebody also could be terrified that something is over. Please clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Three of Cups, beautiful energy, could be dealing with a cancer or any of the fixed signs. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody here celebrating. I'm seeing somebody receiving a lot of wealth, a lot of support, beautiful. Also, there could be a reconciliation here. Once somebody comes out of their head, but I see somebody celebrating with a lot of money, a lot of gifts. Somebody's just being pleased here. Beautiful energy. You could be talking. I'm getting like Virgo cancer energy. You could be talking to someone and you just feel really good or someone's really pleasing you. Someone's making you feel worthy. So whoever this other person is, just, you know, because I feel like somebody or people are mentally trapped and distraught over what they've done to you or what they've been projecting onto you. They are going through it. I feel like you, on the other hand, are celebrating or you're going to be um, aligned with two people or one person. I'm hearing like, you, me, and the divine, like the holy trinity, I feel like you're going to be paired with someone and you're going to be celebrating with this person. Somebody's really here going to treat you how the fuck you deserve to be treated. And I see you having a lot of, like, a really good time with this person. Beautiful. Yeah, the nicest of passion. So following your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, what makes you passionate. Also, for somebody who, was, who kept going in and out, they can't do that anymore. They're stuck. Yeah, this person may want to apologize to you. We have Sagittarius here at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you are free or a free spirit. That's what Sagittarius rules. Okay, you're free to be creative, to do whatever the fuck you want. Somebody else is not. Somebody else is stuck. They can come out of this imprisonment, but it just, you know, it's if they want to. I feel like somebody needs to get right with the Lord, get right with the divine, get right with their own mind. Okay. I don't know how long I've been on here for. But, you know. <sighs> ha, 
I am on plane. I said someone needs to get right with the divine. The natural hair guru. Prayers, honor, and spirit guides. Yeah. Like I said, I just said that. I feel like somebody's praying. Nighttime, they're praying. Somebody's prayed up. Like, please forgive me, divine. Please, for I have sinned. Somebody also could be praying for you. Also, this is you. I feel like you've been following your spiritual guides. You've been honoring your deities. You've been doing what you need to do. And your spirit guides know that. They got your back. I feel like your spirit guides are out here fucking people up. Entrapping them. People are just miserable. I'm seeing somebody here really miserable or riddled with guilt. And somebody else is free. But this is beautiful energy. Also, keep being, keep being prayed up. Keep praying. Keep your connection to the divine. Keep your vibration high. Okay? Keep protecting yourself from this energy that wants to keep attaching itself to you because really it's because you are talented. You are worthy of whatever it is that you are inspiring to do, like aspiring to do. You're worthy. People are just trying to create storms in your life because they have storms going on within their own brain. That's got nothing to do with you. You know what you've been doing. The divine knows you. You know Who knows you better than yourself? But the divine knows you. Your spirit guides know you. That's why we have the empress here. The divine feminine. Clarified by the judgment card. People are trying to judge you. But it's like, but this is who the fuck you are. And when people ask about you, this is, what, this is the, the, the energy that they get. And I feel like that's another thing. Somebody could be a reader here. Maybe they got a reading on you and it's like they, they major arcana after major arcana. They're like, shit, okay, I really fucked with the wrong one. I really made the wrong judgment. Yeah, because somebody is too stuck in their mind. So they're not connected to the ethers. They're not connected to the ethers. The, the ethers can't, um, you know, connect. <laughs> they can't pick you up. The frequencies, the frequencies. Yeah, we have the gray hair. It says wisdom, maturity, and elders. Exactly. Somebody here is so wise. They're so mature. Ancient. Someone's got an ancient mind, an ancient soul. Somebody is truly an ancient being. This is beautiful energy. Oh, your elders are out here. Yeah, the shrinkage. It says before and after two sides of the same coin and something's not what it seems. Yeah, something isn't what it seems. I feel like people thought that you were like this and maybe you didn't have a lot going on, but it's like, boom, you have a lot going on. There's a lot that you know. You have a lot of magic and a lot of power. You are both sides of the same coin. So people don't know how to judge you. They don't know what to make of you. You're like an enigma. Mm -hmm. We have the sleep ponytail. It says perfection, accuracy, and loyal. Yeah, somebody here is perfection. 10 out of 10. With this card, Virgo energy. I'm also getting loyalty. I feel like you're going to have friends or people around you that's really going to be loyal to you. There's someone that you never have to worry about. And that is so beautiful. Also as well, somebody could be going through guilt because they know that you are loyal to them. Again, with that innocence card, maybe something was proven. Maybe someone thought you were cheating or lying. So they've done things to you and, they, and it actually is proven that you wasn't doing anything. This is why this person is guilty. Somebody has been trapped by their own lies and their own deceit. We have the beads. It says creativity, good fortune, and joy. Yeah. I feel like somebody's got a lot of good fortune coming to them. I told you. Especially when it comes to your creativity. I, like I said, I see a lot of people celebrating and supporting you. Because you're talented. So this is beautiful energy, guys. I don't know about the other motherfucker, though. They're getting what's coming to them. That's why Karma was over here by herself. I feel like literally... These two cards are next to each other. I feel like somebody's over there by themselves trying to balance their mind. So this is for the beautiful collective. I hope this is recording, you know, because imagine I was out like, talking to the screen the whole time. Oh, I hate doing these blind readings. I've got to fucking find my get my phone fixed i just found out i had the insurance on my phone the other day i didn't even realize so okay masuni Kor masuni coroni it says goddess of chaos strife mayhem revenge tricks to danger wind and leopard yeah somebody's going through chaos right now i feel like somebody was trying to um get vengeance on you or cause strife and mayhem in your life it's come back on them there's that storm it's like this empress is minding her business and somebody's behind her but somebody here is crying here. 
I'm getting a, a windfall of unfortunate events. That's what happens when you keep fucking around with people. You feel like you're getting away with it. Nah, my nigga, the divine doesn't miss nothing. Period. Yeah, the witch. Enchantress, power, magic, witchcraft, spell work, conjure, alchemy, illusion, bewitchment, enchant. I feel like somebody was doing some dark magic on you. We mentioned that earlier. But I feel like you are a true alchemist. You are a true enchantress. Maybe you've been doing protection ritual. Maybe your protection rituals are designed for your enemies to fall to their own demise. That is very smart. But whatever somebody's doing, they, they, they got themselves caught up because this can represent spell work. Now I want somebody sitting there like, oh my goodness, what the fuck have I done? I tried to do spell work on the wrong one. That's why I don't play with magic. Not on other people anyway. <laughs> I'm too powerful. I'm the Wheel of Fortune, the Sun, and the Magician. Very rare birth cards to have. So I always say, don't fuck with me. Don't do it. I feel like you tried to warn someone or you tried to warn people with the judgment card. Yeah, the throat chakra, you tried to say something. I speak is the mantra. It says communication, truth, social skills, expression, and sound. We've got the word here, expression twice. So I feel like somebody wants to speak their truth. Somebody may actually confess that they were doing spell work or magic on you or that they were trying to block you or stop you in some type of way. Or this is what somebody needs to do. Somebody needs to speak their truth if they want to break this cycle, if they want to come out of whatever shit they've got themselves in. Because right now, somebody is really going through it. I just see a lot of darkness darkness here for somebody. But that's okay, though, as long as it's not happening to you. Because, of course, you're not the negative fuckers, are you? Surprise, it says expect the unexpected. So I feel like some of you are going to get a beautiful surprise. You're going to be very surprised as well because I feel like someone is going to tell you the truth. Yeah, somebody has been called to be honest with the judgment card and the throat chakra. Somebody's throat chakra was blocked, especially with that Gemini energy because, you know, Geminis are known as the liars until they get trapped in their own lies. They have to master, like, the art of communicating, but not in the sense of being li lying to everyone because that's how you get to the lovers where it's kind of like you're... How can I say? It's kind of like if you want to raise your vibration, say you are someone that has a tendency to lie and to tell up stories, how you can channel that is by um, going into acting, going into creative writing so that you're not lying to people, but you are creating characters where you can embody the stories that you tell. And that's how you use that skill in a positive way. But, you know, this person here, double, someone could be a double Gemini. Somebody's a liar but they're being called to be honest. And we have partnership. It says, yeah, teamwork makes a dream work. I feel like somebody needs to be a part of your team or maybe somebody needs you. Or this could have been somebody who you was partnered up with. Somebody wants to be honest with you or they are being forced to be honest. Okay. The twin flames. Okay, so for some of you, this could have been your twin flame who you were dealing with. Or somebody who ignites your passion. This could also be somebody trying to reconcile with the dark side or the light side. Like balancing themselves out. Okay. And then yeah, we have the spirit guide. Yeah, I feel like you were a guide to someone. I'm also getting that somebody is being guided to speak their truth or to live in their truth. Or to just be an honest person or live an honest life. But so for some of you, I see that you are spirit guides. I'm also getting look out for the signs, the symbols and the synchronicities. Okay. So beautiful energy. And then we have, yeah, oh, so misunderstood. That's what I'm saying. I feel like someone really misunderstood you. Somebody really misjudged you here. But oh, well, they're going through it. Don't worry about it. And oh, so unique. Yeah, you're just unique. I mean, I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. Some people, they don't know how to handle all of that. But that's not your problem. Okay, I don't really, I'll just pull one more and then we'll end it. Because I feel like I've been on here for a while. Yeah, beautiful energy. We have inner peace. So like I said, you have inner peace. Somebody else does not. Somebody's trying to find their inner peace. They're trying to ground themselves. And I feel like the only way to do that is to be truthful and be honest 
to this person or to these people. Yeah, releasing stress. Somebody needs to release. Something is going to bottle up and somebody is going to put themselves in a psychiatrical, like, mental breakdown. They need to be honest. Or, you know, period. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Please don't hesitate to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.